Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Tuando will be speaking from the Competent Communication Manual. Her speech to, incidentally, is speech number two, very similar to the very first one that we had, so we're going to have a very close competition tonight. Yeah. <laughs> the objectives of this speech, the second speech, the second speech, the project is organize your speech. The objectives, I'll repeat that just like uh, Mike said earlier on, is to select an appropriate outline which allows listeners to easily follow and understand your speech. Second, make your message clear with supporting material directly contributing to that message. Third, use appropriate transitions when moving from one idea to another. And lastly, create a strong opening and conclusion. Time allowed is five to seven minutes. Mr. Tosman. Tuando has been a member of Toastmaster also for a few months now. And since she's joined Toastmaster, she has been also very excited and enthusiastic about taking on different roles in Toastmaster. And she, too, also came to the division contest, and she had a chance to see a lot of great people and network with a lot of people, and we thank her for coming out, because it was good to see family in the house on this past Saturday. Without any further delay, please welcome Tuando. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Good evening, most honored guests. My name is Tuan Do, and tonight I'm speaking about the topic. My computer is my best helper. When I came to the United States, I have been a teacher in Vietnam. But my nephew and nieces told me that it's very hard to teach high school students in the United States. So you better to uh, study computer science like us to become programmers. So I follow the advice and I took classes in Orange Coast College and then UCI. When I came to UCI, I had a TA who uh, taught me in uh, computer science and one day she told us to use email. It was in 1992. And I, at first she showed us how to use email and I, I thought, why, why should I use email? I just, I, I don't want to use that. So several times passed and then I just did not want to use it. At last she forced me and I had to use email. <laughs> And then I continue with my classes. And when I almost finished my computer classes, I found out about the internet. It was, uh, at that time, it was before Netscape, it was uh, Mosaic. And when I used the internet, I found out that I can see many things in the world. Like I can visit the museum in Italy and uh, in Paris. So I like to stay in my university. I thought that I can only use the internet if I stay in at UCI. So that's one of the reasons that keep me to study arts school in UCI. But then I became a, an instructor in computer science. But um, I would like to ask you uh, an easy question. That is, what do you think about my friends they like me because I am a computer science instructor or because I'm a good user of computer. Do you know what do they like me because I am a computer science instructor or because I am a good computer user? Who can answer? Good. Good computer, good computer user. user, exactly. With my profession in using the computers I can help my friends in a lot of ways. At first, if they did not know how to use email, I can teach them to use email. I tell them that it's a very good way to communicate with your family and your friends because you cannot call them at any time, but you can leave them a message on the computer. And especially when we go grow up and we come older, 
we need connections with people, and people are not always free to talk through the phone with us, so we can communicate through email. That's very good. So my friends likes me like me because of my helping them to use computer in many ways. At first, email as I just talked about. The second, when I use our talk, I learn from somebody the way to edit the audio file so I could use the editor of the audio file to I send into the computer and I will record my song and then I send to my friends and I put on my website. That's very fun. Mm -hmm. And then I can help my friends who work for political causes. So I can make, uh, make many uh, Yahoo groups for them to speak among them. So I own about 20 or 40. Um, not owning, but I participate in so many groups. I cannot remember all of them. But um, myself, I have about almost 10 groups. So I can maintain that and be a moderator for them. So that they can speak among them about political situation in Vietnam that we, all of us Vietnamese, worry about. And then with the skill in computer science, it helped me for my career because when I was um, laid, off, laid off from the university as an instructor, I used it to get other jobs like webmasters, reporter, audio reporter, and uh, editor for a magazine. Secondly, I help my friends in many things, like if they want to buy a plane ticket, or if uh, they want to make some transaction at the bank. One of the friends told another friend that I want to keep the friendship of Tuan because she helped me with the banking. <laughs> And then when I go to meeting, I can uh, take um, the video tape, and then I come home and I process, and I make DVDs, and I copy DVDs for them, so they like me a lot. <laughs> so that's the second thing is a hobby. And the third thing is uh, growing up, because uh, when I go to the internet, I can learn many things, especially spiritual things, and I can take the text from that and transform into voice. So when I am tired, I cannot read, I still can hear the teaching of the wise people. And it's very good. So it is, I call the, my computer the most helpful helper for me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tuan Do. I too can identify with that speech also, because I'm still trying to discover the internet myself. Something funny is that most people know I'm from Arkansas, and yes, we do have the internet in Arkansas. Oh, okay. <laughs> My parents, for instance, they just discovered the internet actually last year. And the crazy part about it, I was just talking to my dad this past weekend, and he has the internet, but he wants me to go on the internet and get something for him. And so that's still the slow progression that my family is making. See, we didn't get exposed much of the internet in Arkansas, but we're getting there. So I'm, I'm learning about that stuff, Twando. So great speech there. Thanks. All right, at this time, can we have our timers report? Yes, Mr. Toastmaster. Like Richard said, it's going to be very close. Uh, both of our speakers qualified. Frank at 6 minutes, 39 seconds, and Twan at 6 minutes, 34, 37 seconds. So. Both speakers qualified. We vote and I'll right. pick up the votes. Thank All you. All right. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a very close competition on this 